Hello, this is the first episode of Reviewing Planes. Um, so this episode I made a P-51 Mustang, and um, it's just an amazing build, and I, I'll go over the building process later on, but I just want to show how the plane flies and its dogfighting capabilities. The first person in this plane is super convenient. It's all glass cockpit, super armored, and it has an altitude sensor to tell you where you're going. Just to prove the capabilities of this plane, I'm just going to go straight through the aircraft carrier bottom with no trouble at all. So before we fly through the tunnel, I just want to talk about the plane. So we have fully con uh, controllable rudder. We have, of course, roll and pitch. We also have two smart cannons on each side. And just to make this a little bit harder for me, I'm just going to go in first person. But this will just truly pr prove how amazing this plane is. No problem at all. I'm just going to let go of the controls and you can just see how smooth this thing flies. No problem at all. We also have fully functioning landing gear that comes up and down and folds right away into the actual cabin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a carrier landing with this thing. Just flying upside down over the water. And we're going to go into a landing. Super, super smooth when it comes to landing. So this thing is built out of one huge frame. On the inside for propulsion, we have the large propeller, but we also have loads of these mini rocket thrusters from the new air expansion update. Um, for the wings, pretty simple. We just have small flap wings controlling it and then a few of these big flap wings in the middle. We have two smart cannons on each side in the middle of the wing. Since I'm not using a tail fin for a rudder and I just have these small modular wings, I have small tail fins kind of throughout the whole build. One here, one here, one here, one here. So that just helps keep the plane stable. One thing that I did for the cockpit was I actually used decals here. So as you can see, this is a decal. And I did that because if I were to just choose a block here and then put a two by one over it, clear this out, it looks a bit worse on the sides. And you can't really just cover it up, otherwise it will look super blocky and not as smooth transitioning. Also, from the inside view, you have way more room to look around. Both of these wings are set to a uh, 5 degree angle on the sides, just to give it that P-51 Mustang casual look. Since the P-51s have a very small tail fin, I went with these smaller tail fins on here and then just decorated around them, using lots of blocks but also trying to keep the weight low. So on the inside, it is completely filled up with grid blocks for connecting. The forces of this plane are actually pretty stable as well. So we have the force of thrust kind of in the front and then the center of weight is perfectly in the middle. This thing cruises at around 180 to 200 miles per hour, which is pretty good considering you're always going to be dogfighting in this thing. I'm flying this plane for a good bit of time now, and I haven't really noticed it getting into any flat spins or any stalls or anything like that. Since it's filled with mini thrusters on the inside, if I do catch a lot of wind in something, I won't really drop too low to really stall out. You can see there, I just dropped below like 60, 50 miles per hour, and I'm perfectly fine and able to just get that speed right back up. And for doing the kind of navy symbol, I did shield pieces with the star over a gray circle, and that just kind of looks like the navy logo, which I'll pop up on screen here. Um, but overall, I'm super happy with this build, and it came out amazingly. Super fast and high performance. But yeah, if you have any other suggestions on planes I should build in the future, please let me know. I also will be uploading this plane to the Xbox Marketplace, so if you want to check it out, it'll be on there. Just, uh, it'll be under P1 Mustang. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, comment any other planes I should build, and I will look into that. Thank you for watching. This plane is truly an amazing plane.